up you guys it's your girl tomorrow gi so if you want to see how i got this bomb look make sure you stay tuned and keep watching Hey you guys, so um, I thought that I would share with you guys how I pluck this unit. And really plucking hair isn't really hard. It's basically like the same steps and the same motions for each side. So as you guys can see, I'm just going back and forth. And to get the rhythm of like good plucking is you have to continuously keep moving. Don't stay in one spot or else you'll have like a spot looking bald. But um... What you'll see is me doing these same steps over and over again. And if you bleach your lace properly, it will be easy to pluck. So I like to spray a little oil on my hot comb and just to get it really hot. It doesn't matter really what oil you use. Oil, any type of oil will work just to get it like a little hotter. And then I like to use my hot comb while I am plucking. Now when I'm plucking on my head, I don't pluck too much on the head. I like to pluck a little bit more while it's on my head but um I started to pluck on the head more because you guys know from my other videos I was just like plucking on my head a lot but I was like you know what let's just pluck so right there it was good enough for me and I'm just gonna follow the same steps on the both sides so um, I'm just gonna show you guys it's gonna be the same motions continuous motions going from right to left or left to right whatever that is you know side to side make sure you guys are keeping that motion and as long as you do that the plucking will be easy and you can just pull back how much hair you want to pull back um, this hair was already pre plucked not pre plucked but you know like it was already plucked pretty good like the hair was already pretty thin but you know it was still kind of like needed some more plucking to pluck but y'all get it though <laughs> but yeah just follow those same steps and it should be good but i'm just going to um just show you guys this little middle section and the other side and then we'll start the install
but we are about to get started with this ball cap and yes we are in the new beauty room but um everything is not done yet so bear with me you guys everything is almost done we're almost done okay we're doing the simple ball cap method the same thing that i've been using so um we're just gonna fast forward this through because I've already explained ball cap and stuff and if you guys want like an in 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 depth video of like me actually explaining the ball cap process and stuff make sure you guys click the cards and any one of those videos in the cards will be um a good video for that but um, I'm just stretching this cap out and then we're about to start the ball cap process. I'm just stretching this out. Um, stretching it out is a really, really good thing to do before you put it on your head if you have a big head like me. So, yeah. We are about to get started with this. Normally, you guys know that I use Seabreeze, but um, I really don't know where my Seabreeze went between all these boxes from the move. So, um, I do have some alcohol, you know, alcohol that you keep in the cabinet and stuff just in case of anything that happens. So, I'm going to just have to thug it out and use this alcohol today. So, I'm going to just clean the perimeter of my hair where that makeup was at. It's really, really important to do that because I find that when I do that, it refrains from my skin acting all crazy and stuff. And I'm not going to forget to put skin guard on this time. So let me go and go get the skin guard now before I forget. Before I even grab the wig or anything, I'm gonna go ahead and put my skin guard on because this is one step that I really forget and the skin guard really really helps between all the chemicals and stuff going on your hair and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and put this skin guard on um this is a skin guard by erica j we are ready and one thing that I would suggest that you guys do and this has nothing to do with doing your hair but when you're done with 
whatever product and stuff you was using just go ahead and put it away i promise you that will make the whole process of you doing your hair like the whole process everything will just be so much better if you do it that way so i'm done with this i'm done with my skin guard and yeah that's pretty much what i'm done with so i'm gonna go ahead and throw my little i just put some trash in here just because it was just right here i'm gonna go ahead and throw this away and i'm gonna go ahead and put these up and i'll be right back organization while you're doing your hair is just so so key because that's one thing that i really really struggled with was like after i'm doing my hair it looks like a whole disaster over here and i'm trying to you know do some new things and kind of work smarter when i film my videos so by the time i get done it's time to take pictures i don't have to be cleaning up this big old mess so that's just a tip this unit is from julia hair um it is i did bleach the knots and i straightened it and of course you guys i'm not straightening i did bleach knots and i plucked it as you guys seen and i did put the same um the same makeup that i put on my wig cap on here just because i was just ready for a bomb install so you guys can see already how it looks the lace is really really nice i love it and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the box from Julia Hair. So um, this is the company, Julia Hair. This is Brazilian hair, and I believe that this is 24 inches, but all of the information for this unit will be down below as far as the website and everything that you need to know about this company in general will be down below in the description box. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out so you guys can know everything. Also, this wig did come with a wig cap, and it did also come with some adjustable straps in here you guys know i rarely use these but you can add these to your wig if you would like but i really don't add the adjustable straps with it if you guys didn't catch from my last videos what i really really like to do before i even put it on i don't do any adjustments or anything on my cap because like i said in my previous videos if you guys haven't seen or if you guys haven't watched my previous videos um i always say that um when you adjust the wig on your head it's kind of hard to adjust where like your hairline and stuff is so i like to adjust it after after i have my hairline and stuff online so i can make sure that everything looks looks like really really good you know so yeah this is the inside this is a 13 by 4 so normally a 13 by 4 you have this is really you have a lot a lot of space in the middle and then the sides if you want to do a side part you'll kind of have to do like a little swoop type situation and i think that's what we might do today so yeah Ooh, oh my gosh it's already blended already i'm so excited see you guys i was given like lace tint sprays and stuff like a little go but the RK by Kiss never do like it never it never fails with me. Like my RK by Kiss, it always gets the job done. So this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm already excited. I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys. Um I bleached the knots very, very well. As you guys can see. And I'm showing you guys how many part, how much parting space and stuff that you have to work with. So this is where it stops because this is where the track is at. And then same thing for this side. You'll have like this much and then the track, you know, stops right here. So far, so good. I really like this hair, the lace. The lace is really good. It's good, it's stretchy enough and it's definitely hd lace that's one thing that i really 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 love about this hair because this hair is most definitely hd lace we love hd lace now because that transparent i don't really be rocking with transparent lace like that so we're gonna go ahead and just start the layers and stuff i think i'm gonna do a total of three layers just so it can be like really really good and secure and i'm gonna go ahead and make that big I'm going to kind of have my um, glue to kind of come like right here so that it can be super duper secure. We are not rushing the process. I'm going to take my time with the drying and everything full so you guys can get like a full, full thing. Because sometimes I'll be rushing with my installs, but we're not going to rush today. We're going to take it fully through, drive fully through. I ain't got nowhere to go, so I know putting me to rush in. So, yeah. 
but like I said the first layer like I always say the first layer I always put it directly on where the ball cap is and I like using popsicle sticks to blend this or to like you know spread it because I done ruined so many combs. I ruined so many edge toothbrushes. I ruined so many just pencils, just other things. I've had sticky fingers because I'm just rushing, trying to put this on here. So, popsicle stick is definitely a must. I really really love this lace because I'm able to stretch it like this stretchy lace is always good lace to work with so if I'm able to stretch it like this that means that I got some some good lace I got some good lace Okay, so I think I dried it for about uh, I want to say like 10 no, I think like 7 minutes. So, I'm showing you guys how everything looks. You know, some of these hairs got caught. But it's okay though.
Okay, you guys, so um, I'm really, really obsessed with this lace right now because it's just blending so well, and I am so freaking excited. Oh my god, okay, so let's get 30. Okay, let's let's finish this. Let's finish this because let me not get excited too fast. Now I'm just trying to figure out directly like how I want everything to look. I know I'm gonna have to go back and pluck a little bit more on this side. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull this out. trying to see how I want these baby hairs to go before I even cut or anything so I could get like a good good like realization on how I want to do this we're gonna do the baby hairs in sections so let me go ahead and plug my small straightener out because you know we about to start curling the baby hair so let me plug it up and then I'm gonna come back when it's time I'm back, I did my makeup, and as you guys can see, I put some curls in the hair. 
and the baby hairs are looking really good i'm gonna take out down this curl because this is supposed to be doing <laughs> something cute and crazy uh, i still gotta layer the top All right, now at the same time, I might not even layer it because it just set really cute. Add like a little bit of my wax stick. And I don't think I showed you guys the wax stick before. This is the Lifestyle 48 hour wax stick. Um, I really don't have any like, like really honest opinions about it. I just got it from the Views Plus store and I wanted to try it and you know, it works pretty well as far as I'm concerned, but I'm not really fond of wax sticks like that. So I can't really tell y'all, oh my God, this wax stick is amazing because I really don't even be rocking wax sticks like that. So I'm just putting this down so it can be as flat as possible. And I really, really love the way this came out. Like everything is just so laid. Okay, I really, really, I'm loving this, okay? All right, I'm loving this. When you take your time and you actually like really, 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 really melt down the hair, it really looks so cute. Cause I had this on for about like, I wanna say maybe like 20 or 30 minutes, I just, had the little elastic band on last time and that's what really really got it like really really laid like this curls are so bouncy and so cute all right you guys so all in all for this hair i have to say this hair is really bomb it bleached well um it bleached really well to the point where i i didn't even have it on that long and the hair almost over bleached and that's because i use 50 volume developers so if you guys are beginners and you're like bleaching this unit make sure you guys either use like 30 or 40 and then leave it on for like 20 or even 15 minutes and it will give you like a good good bleach without you having to you know put dye and stuff over the hair but even though i did over bleach it i really really love the outcome of this hair the curls stayed really good when i curled my hair i didn't use any flexi rods or anything i just curled it sprayed the whole spray on there and then i did my makeup and the curls like still held because like i think i had these curls in for about an hour before i even like styled them or anything that was a really 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 good thing in my book and this hair which is bomb overall it's really soft the shedding is minimal you know all hair does shed but this hair does not shed too too bad so i really really love this hair it's it's really cute and i just love this whole look that it can't like came together like i was like i want to do like a real real popping look like i was like for now on you guys i'm doing like real real popping look like we done with basic looks like i want to do something like real cute every time i feel like i did the look that i was going for with this look so i'm very pleased and i'm very happy and um yeah shout out to julia hair for sending me this hair because this hair is so so bomb and all of the information will be down below like i said before for all the information on this hair like if you want to know what density and everything it is and like just the whole all around information for this hair and for the company everything will be in the description box down below so let's get to this rating um let me think let me think let me think let me think <laughs> what i rate julia hair so um, I think I would rate this hair a 10 out of 10 because um, when we do our ratings, now we're going to go into depth as to each field. So the shedding, minimal, you know, 10 out of 10. Um, the bleaching was a 10 out of 10 because the hair bleached very well and the hair bleach if the hair bleaches really well that means that your plucking experience is going to be really really good so being that the hair bleach so good the plucking was easy and it wasn't hard to get the look that i achieved and also i want to say um this hair is a 10 out of 10 because of the hd lace a lot of companies say they have hd lace but then when you get the lace it'd be like hard and it just it just don't be what 
what they say it's gonna be but um this hair this lace blended in really really good like it's the lace is in my skin stretchy lace is good this lace isn't too too stretchy but it's just the good amount like i said before with the what i mean by stretchy is if you could like stretch it real good and put it on and it's flexible and stuff that means that it's really really good and yeah so um i really don't have any complaints for this hair and also make sure you guys stay on the lookout for how to remove your lace without breaking off your edges and stuff for this particular unit i will be doing another video on how to you know remove your lace so that video should be coming in a couple days so make sure you guys stay tuned for that also i know you guys are like wondering like where's the apartment vlog and stuff that is coming soon so make sure you guys just stay tuned for that and thank you guys for watching this video also thank you so so much for getting me to 100k 100k giveaway details are coming soon i'm just trying to get everything together um i'm trying to get fully fully unpacked and get everything that i'm giving away unpacked before i even like pick a winner and stuff for that as well so make sure you guys stay tuned for that as well thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to give your girl a like comment and subscribe and make sure you guys click that notification box down below so you guys can see when i post and yeah stay blessed